right, so stock trimmer in his current state right there. Gonna be doing some mods today. Gonna be doing the marker lights, the mirror lights there, and underneath the puddle lamps LED, as well as installing the new bed tonneau cover, which is right there in the garage. So let's get that open, lay it out, and see if we can get that installed. Also gonna be putting in the uh, passenger side storage box back there. Um, it's down underneath the table there. We're gonna be putting that in. So here we go on the first mods for the trimmer. Now, I got the tonneau cover from Truxedo. This is the Century CT tonneau cover. Uh, this is the model number right here. Okay, for the tonneau cover, this should look pretty familiar to you guys once it's done. If you guys have been around this channel for a while, I had a Gladiator, Jeep Gladiator that I did the same uh, bed cover on. It was actually called an Armus cover from Rugged Ridge. It's the same exact thing. Really like that cover. So I wanted to go with the same thing with the Ranger. So I won't be doing an install on the tonneau cover today for the Ranger since I did one on the Gladiator, but I will be doing the tailgate uh, assist um, lever drop down as well as the storage container, which I'll do a little bit of walkthrough on that for you. But Okay, as you see here, I have the swing case. It just swings open like this for you to get in and out and get things out of it. But I wanted to show you how it goes on. So these two bolts go in the already pre-drilled holes and those two Torx head are from the hook, this hook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on because I think that it can go on there with it closed but i don't know we'll see i think it can so what i'm gonna do is try and put this back on right now and put that on there so i can at least have a tie down spot if i need it and yes just as i suspected it'll go on there just fine and close so that's what it looks like on right there so the Century CT cover comes with these brackets here. It's this bracket right here. And also that front bracket that we see up there. So I'm gonna have put those on as well as the weather stripping across the cab area. So now all I gotta do is mount the side rails and then roll out the top. So we'll do that now. All right, so now you got this, you need to roll it out. We're gonna cut this tape off. All right, so the side rails are on see they're clamped in there and then this is where the tonneau sits and this is the velcro that goes on the outside so up underneath here you have your latches there you can kind of see but they go on there so when we roll it out making sure that it goes into the creases there on that side and on the other side i think it needs to slide over a little bit but we'll roll it into that and make sure it fits right all right and there it is the century ct tonneau cover you can see that the velcro here goes down real so simple shut the tailgate and then close it down What's more is the DZ tailgate assist. Any self-respecting Ranger owner knows that this tailgate drops down on its own pretty hard. So this tailgate assist going right here, it's gonna help dampen the uh, function of this tailgate. So super easy. This will get installed like this with these two bolts. Take those out one at a time, put that in there. And this will go into that position behind that Torx 50 bolt like that and then the tailgate assist will go like this right here on the tailgate and those two with those two brackets so we we'll get that right, installed so it is on and this is the function of it I gotta unlock the truck first obviously but it went on pretty smoothly no issues whatsoever 
So now when you open it, it just comes down slowly like that. So there's how it mounts right there and then this piece here. So what you'll need is you'll need a T50 for this bolt and this these two bolts here will be a six millimeter Allen wrench. You put it on there and there's no issues at all. It looks really good. Right, next up is the turn signals, those clear turn signals I was talking about. I got the passenger side off. This is what it looks like. I did it a little different way probably, but all you gotta do is just pop this mirror piece off. It just pulls straight away from, from that. And then you have some torque screws in there. I took four of them off, popped off the lens. And then now you can see we're replacing it with the darker ones here. So we'll put those and There on. it is. Looks way better. And I'm gonna uh, unlock the door so you can see it, but they turned out really good. This is one of the first mods I knew I wanted to do to this truck whenever I got it. Those white turn signals just look gaudy as all get out. So there it goes. That's what it'll look like whenever it's flashing in turn signal. So, very cool. Now, moving on to these. We gotta put those in next. All right, so what you wanna do here for this light is you wanna just kinda reach up underneath here, get your finger up there, pull that back like that. And inside, you're gonna see, you're gonna feel around for this little clip right here. This little clip, you're gonna push up and push it out this way and it'll come out. So something like this right here. Put your finger up there, push that out. It comes out simple as that. Insert, same exact way. You can go ahead and tuck this back in now that we've already got it out. So we can access everything through here. Just like that, it's on. Looks way better. And that's what it looks like whenever it lights up. Matches the turn signals really well. There and there. All right, so now one of the things I did not like about the Tremor whenever I first got it is this Tremor decal on the back. It's just, seems pretty plain, pretty bland to me. Uh, it's silver outline. What I'm gonna replace it with is this decal right here. So that's gonna go on there. It's silver in the middle, black on the outside. And that's gonna go in place of it right there like that. Um, this is 15 inches. This decal is 15 inches from the tip of the T to the top part of the R over here. The uh, tail of the R is an extra inch. So it'll, it'll go on there, something like that right there. 